Hi there, folks. Kemi Badenoch, the Tory minister for spewing bile, was this morning sent on the media rounds to push the latest Tory culture war drivel. Kay Burley of Sky News challenged the worthless business secretary on a note released by the Royal College of Nursing that paints a stark picture of the state of the National Health Service. Yes, indeed, the Royal College of Nursing believes there is a national emergency in the NHS. How do you reckon the Member of Parliament for Saffron Walden responded to the latest warning of a crisis in the NHS? Does she take responsibility or does she play the blame game? Oh, well, this is a difficult one, isn't it? Let's take a look. OK, let me ask you about the Royal College of Nursing. They have uh, put out uh, a note today to say that there is a crisis in the National Health Service and people are having to be treated uh, in corridors because there is... Uh, there is nowhere, nowhere else to treat them. Uh, intimate examinations, sometimes people are actually dying mm. in corridors. Uh, they say their staff are regularly forced to care for patients in that way. What do you make of that? Uh, well, I think that that is appalling. I do know that this is something that the government has been working on. We've put more money into the NHS uh, than ever before. We do understand that there are difficulties in certain hospitals. This is not the case, certainly, in uh, my constituency, for example. I'm sure I read somewhere Saffron Walden is one of the richest towns in the country. OK, I just checked, and there is no accident and emergency hospital in Kemi Badenox constituency. There is a lesser community hospital, and obviously people being plonked in corridors is not going to occur at a smaller community hospital with no accident and emergency facilities. Ah, oh dear but this is one of the areas where we have been talking about ensuring that the NHS is delivering more for people given how much that we have been putting into it. Of course the scenario that the Royal College of uh, uh, yeah. Nursing describing is not something that we ever want to see. We know that there will be specific issues in some areas and I know that the Health Secretary has been out uh, just yesterday in fact talking about what our plans in this space will be. Okay, so tell me a bit more about your plans. About the plans for the NHS and how you're going to make sure that people are not treated in corridors. Well, one of the things that we're trying to do is actually make sure that we get uh, staff back to work. We have uh, a pledge about bringing down waiting lists. That is something that was coming down until the strikes. We've been talking about getting a settlement. We have. What? Uh, 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 we've been talking about getting a settlement. Well, how about you stop talking about getting a settlement? And actually, oh, I don't know, reach a settlement. This has now been going on for almost a year and a half. The doctor's strikes are said to have cost the NHS well over £2 billion. But had the government settled, even on the highest number demanded by doctors at 35%, that would have cost a little over an estimated £1 billion. Make no mistake, it is this government who is happy to piss money down the drain to pursue their ideological hatred of unions. Had the government made a credible offer of any kind, the doctors may well have accepted it by now, and the NHS would be in better shape for it, across the board. But being a Tory, her natural instinct is to blame workers for everything. If they're off sick, she views them as bone idle layabouts. If they're on strike, she views them as greedy. Oh have started a programme for building new hospitals. So we do have a plan for, for the NHS. Of course, there will always be issues from time to time. There's never been a time when there haven't been issues with the NHS. But people have been saying for multiple decades about how we wanted to privatise the NHS, how we didn't care about it. And yet all we have seen is more and more investment in the NHS under the Conservatives. I've been an MP at a time when we put in £20 billion more we fulfilled uh, manifesto uh, obligations in terms of funding the NHS. And I think that that is, what, uh, that is a record which we can be proud of uh, this morning and throughout this election. OK, just, just a couple of things to pick up on there, if I may. Uh, when you say before the strikes, it, the, the numbers were coming down. So it's NHS workers that have caused the increase in the numbers of people who are waiting to be treated. I, I'm not getting into... Um, no, you said uh, it, not me. I, yes, I know, but what I'm not getting into is any kind of conversation that makes it sound like I'm disparaging NHS workers. We value, the we value them. And... So, ah, <laughs> oh dear. So what you'll notice is Kemi Badenoch is happy to take pot shots at NHS workers, but she's not willing to engage 
in a conversation about her pot shots at NHS workers because she doesn't want to sound like she is disparaging NHS workers. I mean, seriously, what a coward. This is the kind of person we have occupying the Tory front bench. Essentially, they're just grenade throwers who lack the courage and the conviction to defend their own actions or words. You said it. So just own it. Don't run from it. Ah, absolutely pathetic. Thanks for watching, folks. And I'll catch you again soon. Cheers.